Hello everybody, welcome to my how to make Gmod physics in Roblox Studio tutorial. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to cover a lot of stuff, so I'm going to be talking very fast. Sorry for people who can't comprehend me talking pretty fast, but we have a lot of stuff to cover, so let's go! So in the description, I have all the links to all of these models, including the folder called All Models. The only things that I have trouble with at the moment is the jumping mechanics, side mechanics, and Optifine Zoom. If you want to add these into your game, you're gonna have to be on computer because these only work for computer. Sad face. Everything else works for mobile, but the key components only work for computer. So I suggest you should update your game to only be available for PC. Okay, so let's start with the death screen. Woo! Okay, so on the death screen, there are going to be lots of different things. There's going to be the death zoom, the death screen, and the death in general. So we're going to start with the death screen with sound. There are two models in here. The Gmod death screen GUI and the Gmod death screen sound. The GUI, you will go to the frame. Also, don't change the sound unless you want to change the volume. You go to the frame and you go down to background color and properties. And you can change that to whatever you want. Basically... It just changes the color of what your death looks like and change the background transparency if you want it to still be able to view what's on the screen the sound just change the sound id in order to change the sound id you're gonna have to do this welcome to schematization's roblox sound id tutorial you're gonna copy this number your sound id and then you are going to paste it in the sound id box then press enter and congratulations you have just figured out how to put sounds in roblox studio Woo! so now for the death zoom so you know in gmod when you die you, you zoom out and then like you would ragdoll and stuff like that well this is what it is basically there's two scripts that go in starter gui starter gui camera in and camera out camera in is when you respawn it will set you into first person don't get rid of this wait part on both of the scripts because for some reason it breaks the camera out script is when you die so when you die it will zoom out to your specified max and minimum zoom distance it has to be the same number for both of them or it won't work now we're going to move on to the coolest part the actual physics Woo! okay so in the jumping mechanics folder you'll find these three scripts the server script service script and starter gui and starter character scripts the jumping animation is just my pre-made very simple animation all it is is when you jump your arms raise and that's it <laughs> In the jump, you will see this place player script. Literally, don't worry about it. It just puts it in starter GUI if you forget to do that. So in the jump, you will see this script. Input service, it will find when you put the specified hotkey, which in my case, it is space, because this is only working for a computer. And when you press space, it will change the character's walk speed to 100. And if else, it will change it to your default walk speed. Oh yeah, forgot to mention, it's the sprint physics don't work on this one and it doesn't really need to work because you don't need sprinting if you can already go really fast you have the default walk speed minus 30 but the walk speed when you jump minus 100 i suggest you cap your speed because you don't want people to exploit it so in the landed script this script basically detects when your velocity is at a certain number and then it will run a heartbeat and then say that you landed in the output and then it will change your walk speed back to your default walk speed and that's basically it so in the slide mechanics folder you'll find these two r6 slide things also this animation which will be in the slide mechanics only works for r6 and probably everything else so these are both place player scripts well this one is sorry and i'm gonna explain the top one first so in order to figure out which slide hotkey you want, you have to go into the, this script in starter GUI and change this key code. A, a capital letter, you need a capital letter. Remember, change your default walk speed. And for some reason, the cooldown doesn't work. I don't know why. And 
change your your sliding walk speed the thing i need to add on which i can't figure out how to do yet is to add walk speeds onto each other so if you like to do a sliding and a jump at the same time you go two times faster because i think that's cool like that that nico's next spots glitch whatever thingamajig in the starter pack script you'll find a hotkey and a r6 slide in the r6 slide you don't need to do anything the cooldown doesn't even work in the hotkey you're gonna change it to the exact same hotkey that you put in the starter's ui script but remember it has to be a lowercase letter for some reason it doesn't work with uppercase letters so just put in your, your specified one in text box now for ones on the side that you don't really need optifine zoom you know that thing in minecraft that enhances your game called optifine it has a little feature where if you press z it will zoom in on the screen it will change your fov really low so you can zoom in onto objects this is literally the same thing so you can change the volume of the scope sound i didn't want it in there but um you go into the script and it, you put it in starter player script you can change the key code right here and change the fov for what you want it to zoom and that's basically it in the view bobbing and view body scripts they have a problem with each other you see if you have view bobbing while view body is also running the problem is the scripts for that every single script does this in the toolbox it follows the mouse so wherever your mouse is that's where your body's facing so you can see below you but if you since the view bobbing distorts your camera and does a random displacement effect it will mess up the model and your body will go like in weird directions when you jump and when you run at super fast speeds so if you want to make it a little bit better you should only select view bobbing or the view body in order to configure the view bobbing script you can you only need to change this number change it to the intensity you want my preferred it's is six and we're gonna skip the paper body real fast and move on to the death so the death just has these three folders which all you need to do is follow them and boom you're done in the script it has sounds so when you hit the ground you go <laughs> So this is a very interesting script. You know in Minecraft Bedrock Edition, the mobile version of Minecraft, you will f have an option to show a paper body in the top left corner of the screen. Basically when you're sprinting or when you're shifting, it will show yourself in the top left corner. This is basically the same thing. This script will lag out Roblox Studio. Mine crashed once, but just don't add it in until the very last part when you're about to publish your game. So yeah. That's basically it. Now I'm gonna show you parts of me suffering with the next spots. Where up into my slide? <laughs> See, it, it's a working script. And then you can just, for some reason, spam the anim animation. Doesn't really do much. Okay, so. Whoa! No! What? He jumped on the light? Oh, no, get me up. Oh, there's my dead body. Oh, shoot. Oh, slide. Slide. No. Shoot. Oh. Slide. No. Wait, hold on, 360. Whoa, that was pretty consistent. Dang, th that guy's fast. Slide, slide, get me up. Slide. Oh, no! <laughs> so that's it for the video. Thank you for watching.